Hey, what's up there, boys and girls? Uh, it's, it's it's amazing. I, I can't believe I, I'm looking at this. I haven't seen one of these. It seems like in a decade, something's coming responding. You know, and it's film and 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 to finish my little video here, my little film here. I just remembered that years ago. I used to work near here, actually, at the uh, the call center for St. Tibere Barbecue. You know, I, I told you guys I used to do customer service for St. Tibere. And mind you, look, by the way, I forgot to mention, look, there's that Mustang Fox body I filmed there. And uh, Simon, I don't know if you just saw that Suzuki there. Anyway, uh, and I remember when I didn't have a digital camera because it was stolen. In my first week, I started working at that call center, which was more over, over on Les Planade Street and over there, that's Cremazy. And... Uh, there was a guy down here, one of these streets, he had a 76 Chrysler Town & Country wagon. And uh, that is even more of a guzzler than this, even more of a boat. Anyway, this is just a really nice surprise. I just want to get a really quick shot here of the interior. Look at that, beautiful condition. Come on, focus you. Focus. Focus. Oh, that could be a Canadian car because the seats are um, the seats are fabric. They're not leather. I've noticed that when it comes to a lot of American cars like Cadillacs and cars like of this elk, this type of luxury, the seats were often leather. But here, people do want leather because in the winter, the leather got cold, right? So that's why you see a lot of old cars around here, Buick, LeSabre's, whatever. The seats are, in fact, uh, fabric. And since there's stairs over here, I just want to give a... Let's get a quick look overhead at the roof rack. You know, just because I'm a nut. Right on. God, I wish I could see cars like this every day. You know, Buick LeSabre's, Delta 88's. But you know, it's too big. It takes too much gas. Nah, nah, nah. And like I said, you know, they went to the crusher. And uh, they all, before they went to the crusher, some of them, a lot of them were using demolition derbies. So, you know, that sucks. It's just... I don't like demolition derbies. I think it's one of the stupidest fucking things you can imagine. I think in the past, whatever, people didn't know better. I think if, uh, if, I mean, I understand some of these cars are rusted out and they, they're just going to have good running gear and they're not restorable. Okay. But there are some good cars that get, you know, crushed needlessly, but that's the way it is. Anyway, so that's about it. 31 degrees Celsius <laughs> on a Sunday. And uh, yours truly, Elton McFall, saying, uh, Arrivederci. See you later, beautiful Mercury. Mercury. Yeah, yeah and you know, by the way, I, before I forget, I want to thank Raf. Uh, my friend Raf was a subscriber who I happened to run into because he recognized me uh, on Salem Ross Street that I filmed a ride in his uh, his '71 uh, Cadillac uh, sedan Deville parked uh, like uh, I don't know the street behind this or the one you know before that. But anyway, he told me I had asked him. I remember I asked him. I filmed the ride and I went up to this place and I was like, "Dude, have you seen any other old cars around here?" And he's like, "Yeah." He's like, "There's this Mercury." Uh, he says there's a Mercury wagon parked a few streets over, and there it is! Amazing! I mean, not only is it amazing because, you know, if you don't know anything about old cars, when it comes to station wagons, station wagons were the cars that worked the hardest, man. Okay? And if they didn't work the hardest, unfortunately, a lot of them got wrecked and demolished in demolition derbies because they were built tough. Because basically, it's a four-door sedan with the, the rear part added for it, and... And look at this specimen, it's in excellent condition. Now I have to say, when I said just but now that I hadn't seen one of these in like a decade, I think it's true, I'm not positive of that, I mean I can't remember everything, but my memory when it comes to cars, specifically old cars, it's excellent. Now, uh, the last time I saw one of these, I'd seen it a few times. Um, you know what, I'm gonna have to move this. Uh, you know when you're a perfectionist. I do that at the julep too. When I go to the Orr's julep, they have these garbage cans next to the cars. And I'm like, no, 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 no. I know it's not mine, but you know. Listen, this isn't, look at all these boring cars, okay? This is why I filmed this. When you see something like this, I mean, the car granted is what? Maybe about 30 years old, give or take, you know, 86, 7, 8. I think about there because I had a friend who had an 87 Pontiac 6000 and it was two tone with this kind of color, the salmon pink color. Anyway, that what, to go back to what I was saying, what's really cool is that, uh, you see, I used to live uh, in the NDG part of town back in 2006-07. Uh, 
and my roving eyes were always looking in the streets for old cars and, and I saw this guy I actually taken a picture of it twice the same years of a this is a colony park by the way Mercury Colony Park and the Ford equivalent to this which very looked almost the same was the uh, country square and uh, the, the one I saw in NDG, which I photographed twice, one time on Fielding and uh, Fielding and Grand, I think. And another time it was uh, in the winter, and it was on uh, Upper Lachine Road and St. Jacques. Interestingly, too, about that one is that it was at, in the winter, so it was a really cold day, and the car had dual exhaust. I think this one is dual exhaust. Yeah, dual exhaust. And you see all the smoke coming out of it. And it was the same, same thing, except that... And oddly enough, this one has the same window tint on it. The same window tint. Except the only difference is with the one I saw in this one was actually the fact that the one I saw was not the same color. It was more of a... like a wine burgundy type of color, you know? But isn't this just an amazing... an amazing surprise for yours truly? I got the Schwinn there, as you can see, the 50 Schwinn. Yeah, bone stock, man. Bone stock right down to the correct white wall tires. Bone stock right down to those wheels. Oh, man. There's another cop car responding. Shit. Can't get them all, eh?